Hello everybody, Dr. David Startouch here, and I'm excited to take you through the most current 322A and beyond uh, version of the Logitech 3D Extreme Pro. Uh, we've got a very core setup here. The right and the left stick are going to be the same for, the, for each respective. So the hands-on stick right, that is a mouse replacement. The right uh, button on a mouse is group two weapons. Group one weapons is left click. So group one is the trigger, primary. Thumb is the secondary. The mouse button, when you press it down, is usually missile mode on a mouse. So we've set that to be the thumb button here, button uh, four. <laughs> uh, and then up, down, wheel, scroll we are using the up and down hat for the Logitech 3D Extreme Pro. So these have uh, a four-way hat switch, a four buttons here, a trigger, and a thumb. That's ten buttons for those who struggle with math like I do, and six buttons on the side. So let's talk about the six as well as the throttle here. The outside buttons are for your shift control. So we've got open the door, close the door, lock the doors, middle, and then unlock and uh, lock the ports that lets you pull the engines and the shields and the components off. This unlocks and locks them when the ship is not sought death. So uh, this also up down will increase your shields and uh, or not shields, your scanning and things like that. We've got our missile for here and then above that decoys and noise. It's the panic button. Fires it off. We'll show all of these in a second. The uh, lock button and unlock are right here. So lock the target, unlock the target. But we have some additional combat controls on the inner circle. Lock, lock the nearest hostile, lock the nearest attacker, lock the nearest friendly. So we can kind of ease some of our targeting. And then this is really just for mining or absolute things. I don't use it for a throttle. I use it more for industrials. All right, so that's the right stick. Hands-on stick. This is also the duo. So hands-on right stick. We're done. <laughs> I will be demonstrating this in the combat videos. Now, hands-on throttle. This is, uh, or ho Sam. Hands-on stick and mouse. This adds a lot of precision. You can get a lot out of this, um, especially doing relative uh, with your mouse. It could be pretty powerful. So the throttle, you're still gonna use SEM, standard things, but the throttle is gonna be moving forward easy instead of just holding W. You can just ease in instead of 100%. So whatever you set this at, you can kind of ease in. Pretty cool, huh? We've got strafe left, strafe light. So pushes it forward, pushes it back, strafe, strafe. And then the twist is going to bring you up and down for the right stick. Tilt ship forward, that pushes forward. Tilt ship back, pull it back. Turn this way. Turn that way. And then twist will roll. Now, if you want to shift that and switch it up, you can. Uh, that's actually how I fly. Is I, it makes more sense to me. I'm flying like a real plane yoke where this is roll and then this is yaw. But for most games like this, twisting is the roll. And this, when you go like this, it turns the vehicle or the ship. So, yeah. Anyway. And that's how we've got it universal for the ship and the vehicles. Okay, I think we're ready to get in. Uh, oh, I forgot to finish this part. So the, I do not use the the slider at all on this config. That's up to you. We have set these initially, but you can reset them if you like. But let's get a few more things clarified. Your hat switch for the HOSAM activates your weapons forward. Uh, left is engines, full, max to and sorry, max weapons. Left is max shield, or engines, right is max shields, bottom is reset, the triangle. So full power shields, full power engines, weapon shields, and all that. Okay, get the idea. On the left side, I have the, we're going to probably be using this more often than not, and so I have the strafe up and down. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> wrong side. Uh, on the left side, I have quantum, uh, and then I have ping. So thumb ping 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 and then quantum activate and then on the right side strafe up strafe down instead of the twist because you can get that back if you like i just prefer it over the twist but uh you that's two more buttons you can use if you take off the strafe up and strafe down i just like the precision rather than twisting 
All right, uh, and then I use twist for like zoom if I want to, but that's not set up here. The outside buttons are for landing. So the first one is your VTOL. Sorry, the first one is for your VTOL and your landing gear, drops it down. Second one is cycle your um, wings or your, um, if it's Corsair, it drops your wings down. Like if it's a whole C, it expands the, the stuff. And then the bottom, the one that's farthest away is to request ATC. So you're gonna be using them most this way. Um, so that's why I did it that way. The very farthest one is master modes because you're not gonna switch master mode very often. So requesting landing, switching master mode, things like that. Are you going into combat? You're gonna hit that. And the nice thing is you can just drop your hand down and pinky most of these things or palm. These other two here are your uh, noise and your decoys, individual. So noise, decoy, decoy, decoy. We do have our panic right here. All right, so let's go over these. I will show you them in the game itself. And uh, ah, there we go. That's more like it. So uh, let's go through the setting these controllers up before we go into the game. So we're going to go into key bindings, and then we're going to go all the way over, advanced controls. And if you go to the uh, Duo blank version 3322A, it's going to, you're going to see two here. That's for two sticks. If you only have one stick, you do this. Um, uh, if you have one stick, you do the uh, 322A blank V3, and that's going to just show one stick. But if you do do the 2 one, it's going to think you have two sticks, but that's fine. It doesn't break anything. It just, it's really annoying. All right, so we're going to load all these up, and that includes the keyboard, and that sh will, will verify the keyboard, my cool settings in the keyboard, which give you a nice edge if you're using that. Looks like that's working. So for the keyboard, F3 is your request landing. Yes. And that is because Alt N was your request, N, request landing. And then I would want to see the camera and I would just switch to four. But you can see where the thumb didn't necessarily leave it. So it'd be Alt F4. Bad. Don't do that. So I do um, F3 for landing. And then when I press F4, I wasn't touching Alt. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, and F3 wasn't used for anything anyway. Now we've also changed out the F keys, which were your shield, triangle, and whatnot. Now you do have those on your joystick. However, for those, if you want to use just a keyboard, mouse, or whatever, one, two, three, and four are now your one for weapons, two for shields, three for engines, four for reset. And then uh, on the, you can uh, adjust the numpad if you wanted to to duplicate it but they have their own setup for there all right so then uh shift one shift two shift three puts you into a turret and if that's under uh, targeting i believe i don't know why remote turret shift one shift two shift three i don't know why it doesn't show the numbers and then we have pinning left alt one left alt two left alt three i will demonstrate these in combat in a moment these allow you to, to pin your targets and then F5, F6, F7, which used to be the targeting, the, it used to be the shields and powers. This lets you select your pin targets. Again, we'll show that in a second. So the, that's my fancy keyboards. That is in all the, uh, if you reset or go blank or whatever, uh, it's going to have those. So now we have loaded the duo blank, I believe. All right, so let's load the HOSAS. 322v5. So we're going to grab that. And we're just going to make sure also the keyboard is working in that too. Yay, this is already looking great. It's filled in. We've got our blanks, which full resets, and then we have this. Okay, so let's pull up the keyboard real fast. Make sure that the shield pyro triangles, yep, those tri triangles are there. All right. <laughs> Advanced. There we go. All right. So we've got um, the quantum travel. Again, is going to be your thumb on the outside, and your ping is here. Scanning is on the right. You guys ready? It's going to be fun. Making sure the target and targeting lock is set, and it is okay. This is the good times.
So we're going to go into Arena Commander, and we're going to select, uh, let's do Pirate Swarm. And we'll do it offline. All right, so yeah, well, uh, that's a good ship for this. All right. We're going to launch in Pirate Swarm. We're uh, using two sticks here, but they're both set for hands-on stick, hands-on stick and mouse, and duo. These are all the profiles that are there, as well as the blanks. So let's talk about how this works. So right now, and we'll actually make sure that we've got a problem here already. So if I press forward, I'm going backwards. You can't really tell that as well from that view. So let's shift this. So if I'm pressing forward, the ship is going back. If I press back, you can see the engines kick in. That is not the configuration we can change. I, can, I can't give you that. You gotta go to controls. But before we do, we need to know what stick this is. So we're gonna go to movement. And we wanna find the throttle absolute right here, forward and backward. Yep, that is, stay. That is Y input two. So that's how we know. Go to controls, joystick two. And then you just go to invert, flight, flight movement, and you can change the throttle absolute forward and backward. Where, where are you? Throttle forward, backward, absolute. You could say yes. Now there is a game setting here that said invert. I noticed this the other day. Um, HOTAS invert throttle. And it was set to yes. So if I now go forward, yeah, it didn't change it here. So I think I'd have to exit the game to have that activate. I don't want to do that. So we'll just leave that. I don't know. That might fix it. That might not. But the fact that I just flipped the switch and it didn't fix it, I'm going to go through and turn it, change it the other way. So we go to controls, input two, and inversion, invert settings for the flights, and I'm gonna make movement to be absolute forward back, yes, okay, there we go. Now, if I go forward, I go forward, I go back, oh, and we are taking damage. All right, so let's go to full power to shields, just press two real quick, and whoever was that dude, I don't know, but I'm gonna target my nearest attacker, I'm gonna do alt, one, and now he's got a one on his name, and if I untarget him, I can now see who he is. Let's target him again, and just pull those triggers to the left. So, kind of get the idea, and I'm gonna increase my speed limiter and run away a little bit. So I'm going to reverse. And full power to shield, so press forward. I wanted to show you this, but this guy attacked me sooner than I thought he would. All right, so we've got a vehicle destruction, hooray. All right, so now let's look at our shields here. We're gonna go to the menu and we're gonna look at power. Okay, so uh, you can see the weapons are full power. Then I go press right on the right hat, and my shield, and bottom resets, thrusters, Full power to my boosts, shields, weapons. So it's going to get the shields back. Make sure I am recording properly. <laughs> okay. Um, let me uh, get us a little bit better thing so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Hmm. I do actually like this. Let me duplicate this one real quick. And I'm going to just move that down here. So when I stream, I do more like this anyway. You know what, we'll, flop, we'll swap it. There. Cool. So now you can see more what we're doing as we are in the combat. Now, uh, when, we're, when we're flying around like this, what I want is to be able to evade if I'm getting shot by missiles. 
two ways you could do it now. So we can fly as fast as we want by pressing going forward. I increase my SCM, so I'm really flying here. And that's my yaw, so I turns, right? Doing that. And then if I roll, it's a twist. And then uh, I'm getting fired missiles out. I'm going to panic fire. Okay, there's a problem here. Something is wrong. None of my commands are working. What is... Am I in missile mode? I'm in missile mode. Okay, that's why. Not sure why I was that doing that. All right, so we're getting fired at. Oh, maybe, you know what? I forgot to set panic launch. Darn it. I knew I missed something. Okay, shields countermeasures. Wait, that's right. Oh, they get put on the wrong one. Well, that's easy. Okay, fixed. Oh, no. They were on the right one. That's... Okay, something is amiss. Decoy panic launch should be there. That's what I did wrong. And then noise is the second one here. So that was right. All right, we'll just save that again as version 6. So STH, Logi, 3D, Ho SAS, 322A, V6. That's the, so you know which, how the iterations, right? O key. Here we go. We are. You're in the combat, I believe. All right. Um, let's get back to here so we can see a little more. Okay, so now if we panic. Oh, that worked. Yes. Okay. I'm going to fly a tiny bit. In your direction. Okay, so we're going this way. And we panic launch because we are getting shot at. Just fired decoys and we fired noise. Now we've got our ship is in gimbal mode. So is there anybody for us to target? I don't know. We killed one person. Got one pirate. But I don't know where the others are. So I'm just going to tap my targeting. I'm not seeing anybody though. Not sure I like this map. All right. So uh, left trigger. I'm going through my uh, lasers on this weapon and on my thumb now because these are my ballistics. I want to save those. But let's go full power to, sh to weapons again to recharge. I'm sure I'll get somebody coming soon. Now if we want to uh, play with the open of the canopy, this is more fun when I actually have a, <laughs> a uh, cutter, but this is terrifying. But we're going to do it. There we go. Open doors. <laughs> and then uh, if I press the lock, unlock ports, and the doors are locked and unlocked, they used to show it, maybe in some... I'm not sure where it says lock and unlock. Don't see it here. Just must be a different ship setup. Okay, and then uh, right here we've got our targeting, which I don't have anybody to target right now. For our configuration, we can request landing. We can um, change configuration. This doesn't do much, but here is the VTOL and the landing gear for this particular ship. So just a single button, nice and easy. Now let's fire a decoy. We're gonna go forward. And oops, yep, there we go. Those are... And the noise is the big black stuff there. Decoy, little flare. All right, anyway, I hope that helps. Um, it's a pretty simple setup. I don't believe I can act, don't think there's any place to go, but there's quantum drive. Press in there. And then if I want, I can ping, super easy tapping. So that's nice. You can see I move my 
if I move the uh, hat up and down on the right stick, we are moving the SCM, so I can adjust that. Boost, I have landing gear down, don't need that. Boost is the trigger, and then brake is the thumb. But it also brake reset. So if you needed, you could do that. I also like turning on the setting in settings here. Game settings where under the space brake engages boost. So when I hit brake, I really want it to stop. Like, um, So that's going to engage my boost, drain it a little bit. But I can always do power to boost and then drain. Power to shields charge up. And yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much all the main things we needed. You can see the power triangles moving around really easy with the hat. That's cool. And then if you do it with my keyboard settings, you can do the same thing. So that makes you nice and powerful with your keyboard and uh, one stick, or if you're two sticks, or if you're stick stick. There you go. That's the Logitech 3D Extreme Pro, everybody. It's a $40 per stick. Um, so Mac, I think it's retail, and then so you can get it from 60 to 80, get two sticks, and it's a really good time. Uh, if you want to really invest in sticks, though, save your money. Don't get the Thrustmaster if you're going to save your money. If you're really going to want to invest in sticks, get the VKB. I have lent my right stick out, so I can only show you the left one at the moment, but this is the throttle. And this doesn't come with it. Uh, so it's just this part here. This is the uh, an extension module, which I use for mining and other stuff. And you can attach them to the the stick. So it's pretty modular. But this is a this is going to last a lot longer than a, these. These are cheaper, and they do break occasionally. But if you treat them well, they'll last quite a while. Uh, this is much more industrial. Um, they're pretty easy to service too, and you can adjust some of the axis strengths and stuff like that. Um, they use uh, a gimbal inside, which is more, feels more like a uh, joystick. Where this, when you go, this is like a ball, and you can see it more in the Thrustmasters. But there's a ball and a cup, and as you rotate, the ball moves along the cup and it knows what's going on that way. These, uh, the The VKBs go f actually have springs for each axis that you can adjust tensions and things for. And same with the verbals. VKBs are 165 for the premium, which I do recommend. Uh, they do give you 32-ish buttons, 16 buttons. And um, Thrustmasters give you 8 on the, and then 12, so tw 20. So this gives you four more than a Logitech, and there's one on each side. So um, Thrustmasters are, are, are great. Uh, the Logitech's great uh, for the budgets that they are. They feel different. The Thrustmasters feel a little smoother, a little heavier. I, I think I'm really torn between which I would prefer, whether the Logitech or the Thrustmaster. And since I can get two of these for the price of a Thrustmaster, if I was to do it, I'd probably get two Logitechs. The left hand though, this is a erg not really ergonomic. So having a Thrustmaster as your left stick and Logitech, I do have a video on that. I don't really recommend it just due to the cost value. I'd really recommend just getting a left HOSAM with the VKB. If you're going to be spending 80 plus 40, spend a little bit extra and get a single stick and a mouse um, that throttle the HOSAM and you get so many buttons. So anyway, Dr. Davis Star Touch, Panther's Survivor Hero. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what sticks you have, what's going on. These are going to be on SurvivorHero.com under the controls for Star Citizen, so you can download them. I hope this was helpful. And uh, 322A, 323 is coming. It's going to be a heck of a year. <sighs> Namaste, friends.